Welcome to Mitchell Consulting Group University. Today, we'll introduce you to the SAP Business One Pervasive Analytics. Pervasive Analytics provides you a visualization of the current information to help accelerate decision-making across all functional areas within Business One. These areas include accounts payable, accounts receivable, inventory, sales, expenses, assets, and liabilities, and much more. Pervasive Analytics comes in three forms, KPIs, dashboards, and advanced dashboards. KPIs are single parameter measures with the capability in Business One to track target metrics, identify trends, and display details that the KPI is derived from. Dashboards are graphical representations of data in Business One that encompass multiple parameters. In addition to seeing the graphics, a tabular view is also available. KPIs and dashboards can be added to the cockpit. Additionally, dashboards can be added to the analytics tab on the marketing document sidebar. In this demonstration of pervasive analytics, we will create a graphical display of the top 10 purchased items by customer in the past year and display it on the sales order. To begin, click on Tools and then Pervasive Analytics. As you can see, there are many KPIs, dashboards, and advanced dashboards that are available directly from the initial implementation. KPIs, as stated, present a single frame of reference for the data. We click on the customer KPI. We can see here customer receivables is 12.31 million and the trend is on the rise. Hovering over the number shows you the exact number in a little more detail. To return to the previous screen, click on the go back or home button. Today, we will be creating a dashboard. To create a new dashboard, click the plus sign. Selecting the icon that looks like a file folder will open up a list of data sources. These data sources encompass most, if not all, potential sources of data and combinations of data that are available throughout SAP. Today, we're going to focus on sales, and we will select the single document transactions and then the sales order detail. When selecting the data source, the SQL statement will be displayed on top along with the sample data below. Click on OK to accept that, and the measures and dimensions will be displayed. For our example, we want to select the quantity and drag it to the target measures. We also want to see the business partner name and also, and as we add the information, we'll see the tables. We also want to see the item description. So we'll add that also to the dimensions. The display includes now the name of the company, name of the business partner, and the products along with visual representation of the quantities. On this screen, we can also define how many items to display. Currently, it's set to the top 10. We can change that to the top 30, 40, 50, and the graphics will change. We can also go down to five units only. And again, we will see the visual representation change to just five. For our purpose, we will go back to 10 and use that number for our project here. In the graphical display, we can choose from different strategy types. These primarily exist for statistical purposes, and we will not be working with those today. For the chart type, we've got various chart types that are available similar to Excel, and we could do a column chart like it's displayed, a line chart, pie chart, and various other charts. For our purpose, we'll just choose the multiple bar chart. And now we have a horizontal representation of the data. In the Filters and Parameters tab, we are able to create additional filters that selectively picks the data. And for our purposes, what we want is everything from the past 12 months. We will select the due date and drag it into the active filters box. From here, we're able to pick from date and to date. For our purpose, we'll pick the past 12 months in the past. So we're looking, we'll take data that is within the last 12 months. The to date will be this year. 
So we'll, again, we'll select everything for 12 months prior through this year, and we'll click and add. And you'll see this graphic change with the new data or the new limited data. The actions section can be categorized as proactive, or reactive. The proactive action assigns a dashboard to an analytics tab on the sidebar of a marketing document. The reactive action has the capability to open other marketing documents, create a search based on the query findings, or open an advanced dashboard. Advanced dashboards will be reviewed in another Mitchell Consulting presentation. Today, we will focus on the proactive action. Click on the plus sign to create a new action. A new screen appears. The first thing we'll do is name the action, and then we will select the target. In this case, we want it to appear on the sales order, so we'll select sales order. The next activity that we need to complete is how do we link this dashboard to the actual data? In this case, we will choose the business partner code on the dashboard and also the customer vendor code in business one. And now we can see that the sales order quantity action has been created. To verify that it works, we'll go to modules, sales, sales order, select the sale, make sure the sidebar is, is slid out and then select analytics. To update existing dashboards or KPIs, select the check mark to save. Since this is a new dashboard, we will save as. We will name the dashboard sales order quantity for this practice and select OK. The dashboard has been saved, saved successfully. To test it, we will click on modules and sales order. From here, we select a sales order and then on the sidebar, select analytics. The display will show us the name of the company and the top 10 items ordered in the last year in alphabetical order. From here, we can hover over the individual areas and it will show us, again, the partner name, the product, and the quantity. And this is true for every single one of the entries in here. We can also select the tabular view and have a list of the items that are presented in the graphical view. Thank you for watching. Please like us and subscribe to the Mitchell Consulting Group. You can also contact us at mitchellgroup.com.